Hi, my name is Alex Haddock. I'm a Chief Technologist for HPE here in the UK. And I'm just here today to give a very quick overview of why HPE Synergy is a better blade and why there's never been a better time to move from HPE C-Class and other vendors' blades to the HPE Synergy platform. Now, if I draw how we looked at HPE C-Class back in the early 2000s, bearing in mind that we released the platform in 2006, we designed a frame that took 16 blades. So one here to eight, nine, 16. This was a 10U chassis. Now when we released this, we actually had CPUs that were only 80 watts and only had four dim slots. We did, however, design for the future. And if we look at a current Gen 10 C-Class blade, we can take 150 watt CPUs two of them, and up to 16 DIMM slots. This gives you up to two terabytes of memory. So as you can see, we actually designed this very well for the future, but all good things come to an end, and we expect C-Class to go end of life in 2020. The good thing is that we designed HP Synergy not only to be a new and clever composable platform, but to actually be a better blade. So if we look at the HP Synergy platform, I draw it out now. What we actually have here is one, two, six, and then seven to 12. So you may be wondering why if it's a better blade are there only 12 blades in that system? Well, actually, what we've done is we designed it to not only be 10U high, but you also designed it, very importantly, to have the same power budget. So it means that you can coexist and replace, over time, your C-Class with HPE Synergy with the same power. Now, also, HPE Synergy is ready for the new generation of Intel Xeons, the new Cascade Lakes and above beyond. And because of that, it can take today up to 205 watts. So as you can see, an appreciable increase in power of CPU and two of them. So that allows us to go up to 28 cores today in the new Xeon scalable family. And importantly, 24 DIMM, so the maximum complement. What does that do? It means, of course, a higher memory capacity of 50% more. But what it also does it allows you to more cost optimize your memory or even use the new Intel Optane DC memory as well. So you're probably wondering, well, this is good. We've got more, more, more memory, more cores, same power footprint, but what about management? How do I take this on? Get the right pen. So the good thing is here is that you can use HPE OneView to manage your existing C-Class estate. This can be installed in a virtual machine this is a great way to start getting ready to move to Synergy. Then, when we consider going to Synergy, the good thing is that HP OneView was built in. OneView is part of the Synergy com Composer. In fact, the whole Synergy platform is designed around OneView itself. Now this OneView here won't manage the C-Class, you'll have two OneView instances, but you'll have a common management platform. The nice thing is though, that actually there's a thing called Global Dashboard that is part of the OneView suite and is included. This Global Dashboard does what it says on the tin and funnily enough, gives you a common view of, both your one, of all your OneView appliances. So in the end, what we have is common management, but blades that are designed more to enable that management suite, more memory, more DIMM, support for new, new persistent memory technologies like DC memory. In the end, we just simply have 
without any frills, a better blade. So as a call to action, I would start transitioning your HPE C-Class purchases to HPE Synergy today, ready for end of life date in 2020. So as a call to action, start to look at a transition to HPE Synergy today. Thanks a lot for watching.